Oh, my uh, my camera is not working for some, my other camera is not working for some reason. Hi, welcome to TFLB Microcasters. Let's see if I can get this camera working. I mean, I guess it's optional, right? <laughs> the camera all of a sudden just crapped out. The whole show is optional, Lucas. Oh, maybe. Is that how we're going now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I've become dreadful and self -reje rejective. Reflective is what I meant to say, but rejective is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's no, dramatic. So my other cameras, all of a sudden, it like was working before. And then, I mean, it's, I guess it's fine. It's whatever. No, we it's love good. our drama here on Little Casters. There you go. So yeah. Um, so tonight we. Um, Maybe I'll get it working here. Um, tonight we are reviewing Waspinator. Uh, yeah. Which is it even Waspinator. like in stores anymore? I don't even know. Probably not. Why not? I'm sure you can probably find it. But uh, it's one of those figures where it was, I, I wasn't even sure if I was going to get it. I know there's a bunch of these figures that I said I wasn't going to get and then I ended up getting. So, um, Anna, that's not the right one. What? I don't know. That's, that's Wait, the wrong did dude. You not have that's a Waspinator. We've talked have... about this. I'm not getting the new one. I opened this one today. Oh, there you go. That is pretty funny. So, that pulls so frick shit. When you're asking about um, reviewing Waspinator and like, oh, you haven't opened it in a while, I didn't realize that you're talking about the one from like six years ago. Oh, yeah. Eight years ago, actually. Eight years ago, right? Oh, man. I'm talking Wait. about really 30 Waspinator. So I'm going Wasp to compare it to what you guys have. Anna's Waspinator is the same age as my kid who's like in grade <laughs> school. Correct. Okay, whatever. But Waspinator was trapped in a closet and not allowed to get education, so he's mm. not as well adapted as your child. So just to let you know, it is the like vertical stuff for tonight because I can't get my other camera working, so... So I'm this, hiding uh, behind Waspinator. Uh, so there you go. Anna can hide behind Waspinator. So pretty fun. Yeah, so I actually wasn't convinced I really liked the new Waspinator looking at pictures. Uh -huh. And I decided to go with the Thrilling 30, which I had had, you know, boxed in a closet forever. Oops. But um yeah, I actually got the mold today on pre-order, as many people did, because of Buzzsaw. Oh, yeah, there you go. Buzzsaw. I mean, how exciting is this day for Christian to get Buzzsaw? I'm you should be pretty excited. I had, I had new bot bots yesterday. I had Buzzsaw Night Prowler today. What a week it's been for me. Yeah, it has been a great week for you. Absolutely. Pretty I'm pretty enthused. Person. You sound can't think of a, I can't think of a better week in Transformers that I've ever had, except you know when I go to conventions. So, well, Austinator. I mean, the fact that we are on the cusp of a new Bot Bot show, and that they finally they they actually revealed these figures. Yep. Like, and it has vehicles. Uh-huh. And the show so, comes out tomorrow. So, right, my week will continue to get better. Oh, and does the show come out tomorrow? Is that the, the exciting truth? Yep. You have to have an account at some company called, like, Netflix or something, right? Yes. Some obscure thing that no one has. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Hopefully everyone has it and is able to access it. I actually don't. So we'll see about that. 
happened to your Netflix? I know you had it recently. Oh, uh, a series of events. <laughs> All right. What <laughs> series of events? Like, what events could it be? It's like, oh, we decided to cancel. Like, is that pretty much the? Yeah, yeah, we'll call it that. No, I, I can guess the series of events. I think you figured it out. <laughs> I did. I've known it had you for nothing a long to time. do with Waspinator, so it does not. This is the Waspinator, the Waspinator is here. You know what you guys yeah. didn't get with your Waspinator? You guys didn't get this action. No. I'll sit down comic book. A, a comic book that has nothing to do with the character itself, other than the cover. He's in it. Oh, is he okay? He's in like six frames. Oh, well, that's pretty he good. Is. I, he is there. He is an important part of the action. He is even depicted drinking. Like, well, I know. Like, how do you better those... represent a character than depicting them drinking? A lot of those comics back in the day didn't have the character, like, whatever the cover was, like, it had nothing to do with it. It was like, they just had a random, you know, comic from R.I.D. or, um, you know, whatnot. So. Yeah, they felt pretty random. Yeah. Well, I had to get the whole story out there. I get it, but yeah. This one's pretty fancy in that it has the most fantastic depiction of Wheelie ever in a comic book. There you go. The super buff, roided out Wheelie. So bizarre that anyone ever chose to draw Wheelie like that. Huge and hyper masculine. I love it. Survivalist wheelie. That's what we all needed. It was bizarre. But anyway, yeah, tell me about this new Waspinator from the future. It is As so opposed much to my old Waspinator the from the past. Waspinator. Like, it uh, pretty much has the exact same transformation as the, uh, the <laughs> one. But I mean, like, I'm sure, like, a lot of these Kingdom figures or uh, Beast Wars are, are kind of the same thing, you know? It's. There, there's a certain transformation for for each of them so you know that's just pretty much the way that it's going to be so um when i initially saw the you know pictures online i just i didn't think it looked like all that great uh but in hand i feel like it it's looks a lot better and there's certain things i prefer about the older one um but the new one I actually like quite a bit like the um like the chest like the the eyes uh from waspinator are pretty cool um i really like the wings um i think that they're neat i don't know i mean i guess it's kind of like you know everyone may have their own personal waspinator but um yeah i actually kind of like the size of this a little bit better in the proportions i don't know what you think christian if you uh, he's a bit small, but he's proportional to the rest of Kingdom, which is why I couldn't continue to use Sterling 30 for mine. Right. Mm, okay. Because Sterling 30 is taller, uh, but he's a little bit less proportionate than this one is. Not by much. Yeah. Not that yeah. not that anyone could ever call Thrilling 30 a bad toy, because it's not. It's really great. It's really uh, not, yeah. But this one scales with the new stuff, and that's the way it is. This one's too tall. But I feel like this is kind of the way of all the thrilling 30 figures that they've redone. You know, Rhinox is kind of the same way where it's like there's certain things I like better on one versus the other. I liked, I actually like the colors better on the old one than the new one. I don't know what you think, Christian, if like what you like prefer. Uh, yeah, I do like the old colors better. And a lot of it is the wings for me. But I've realized that if this were a legacy release, I would have been happier and not cared about the wing colors because they're animated Waspinator wing colors. That's why animated yes. Waspinator just came on the screen. I saw that. That's nice. <clears throat> he yeah. wanted to show you my wings are purple. Yeah, so that's where the purple wings come from, which is cool. Uh, I would have preferred it to be completely Beast Wars accurate. But if you're kind of like, hey, he's kind of toward the end of kingdom and kind of maybe actually the beginning of legacy and he's incorporating bits from both and fine 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 
I will say that I don't, I don't like the legs as much on the new one. Like I don't they're, either. They're just a little bit thicker. They're thick. Like thick. Yeah, I wish they were. They're thinner. really thick. Yeah. So. And they they hang off in a you know weird way. Basically, they they inverted where the two legs and the one leg are because the two legs are on the arms for Thrilling Thirty, and the two legs are on the legs for the Kingdom one. Yeah. So I don't look at a whole leg. lot of Wasp, but the legs are a little more actually like bug legs on the new one, right? They, they are. They are. They have that like curvature they're, also, they're supposed to have. Like twigs as well. That's that's why we're saying they're they're thick. And they're just they're large legs. That feels almost more right to me though. Yeah, it, probably in, in insect mode it's correct, but when you transition it to robot mode that kibble hanging off of it is so much worse because of it. And they go from being cool to being kibble, yeah. Yeah. Like the, <laughs> the spindly legs of the Thrilling 30 blend better into the robot mode than these do. And that, yeah, that's a design choice. Yeah, it was one of the bummers about all the bugs in Beast Wars. It was like, I like bugs. I think bug toys are cool, but they ended up with a lot of very kibbly legs that detach quite often yes look at you scavenger a lot of my beast wars was second hand so a lot of them kind of lost their legs over time this is the neat guy this is the, the you know this is the wasp maybe you need to go with the kingdom collection and that's that's how he scales what he's designed to go they have the same he has the same design aesthetic as the other predacons he looks right at home with them. And so for that reason, I think you need to get them. But if you're not collecting the Predacons, then, you know, maybe go for the like Dirty. Or animated if you're feeling, you know, cool about yourself. So I will say, like, on the the um, Thrilling 31, I don't know. Mine just never quite, like, fit together right. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just my copy. But it just never quite worked for me and like... Even trying to transform it again uh, here, comparing it to the new one, it just didn't... I, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just my... Do you mean topic. in bug mode? Yeah, the bug mode just didn't quite go together. Yeah, so when I was transforming it, I realized I had to do a lot of things I don't have to do anymore. Like, pushing plastic in ways, pushing plastic that's a little more pliable than what we're used to these days. It was just a different experience playing with this i did get mine together solidly but it did involve like the shoulders i <laughs> really felt yeah. like i had to get in there and toy with them after they went to where they naturally sat i had to play with them more it's right just stuff that... you don't have to do these days right and so that's the thing i feel like this one the transformation even though it's essentially the same transformation almost it's very close the um it just felt a lot more solid like i felt like everything went together more solid on the new one than the old one the other thing with this new one is is that there's it does have more articulation like it does have that waist swivel uh that the old one doesn't have um of course i guess the old one does have like a little thing where you can push a button and it flaps the wings which the new one doesn't have but you know whatever i don't i don't need that um and then of course this one had you know it also has the ankle um that you know the old one doesn't have um i don't believe it does at least yeah no it does it has um forward ankle tilt but not yeah, rocker. forward and back yeah which is part of the transformation yep. i mean the new the new one has the same you know like there's forward and back with the toe and everything so yeah because the feet end up in the same same place in beast mode Right here on the, I guess, what's chest for bugs? Is that thorax? Yeah, James uh, in the chat said that he has both, so he decided to put the Thrilling 30 with his masterpiece figures, and they, he says he fits right in with Megatron and Black Arachnia. And I would agree with that. I do think that, you know, with this, you can kind of use your old Thrilling 30 figures as stand-ins um, for, you know... Is, I'm sure that they will eventually all come out with all of these figures like Rat Trap and Rhinox, but until those are actually released, you could probably just 
you know, stick your old throwing 30 uh, figures with uh, MP just to have a complete shelf. Hey, we'll get to see I, uh... Christian die of happiness from Masterpiece Buzzsaw. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll get that even though you're not collecting beast wars masterpiece anymore heck yeah i will you kidding me okay yeah i was thinking about that i almost didn't open this thrilling 30 waspinator because i could really see a masterpiece waspinator being announced soon like i feel like he should be next i love anna that you're like you know, I almost held off on opening the figure that I have not opened for eight years because theoretically in a year or two, there might be a masterpiece. Might just, you know. Because I have, have decided that <laughs> I have decided that my Beast Wars main characters need to be masterpiece. No. Like, I just, I need them to be. There's just something about animals and the goofy mainframe expressions that I have to have the masterpiece level. You know, it's it's really funny for me. I kind of feel like because I I really enjoyed the masterpiece figure, like all the Beast Wars masterpiece figures, and I've always thought that they're cool. And I, but as like, you know, I, I just don't really have the nostalgia for that cartoon. And so yeah. I didn't, you know, go on with the line because especially as you get the bigger ones, they're like, you know, a couple hundred dollars. And, and so I just didn't want to spend the money. And I really feel like, you know, getting these mainline figures, I don't know what it is, but like, they're kind of just meh for me. And I feel like that I would have been happier with the masterpiece. It's weird because like I, I am happy with the generations mainline for G1 figures, but not for, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. Yeah. It's something about beast wars, something about beast wars, just, and I, I honestly think it's the, the way they did animals. I just think those animals were so, silly and cartoonish and talking. Well, I just think that the way that they did the paint on... It's also very nice, figures, yeah. I think it's very nice. Whereas the paint for the G1 <laughs> figures is not... Like, you know, they use a lot of solid colors and all that. So it's just a different paint technique. So, but... So... I mean, I don't know. I think that they've all been been fine, but there's nothing, you know, it's not like this is super exciting. Um, I, I think the masterpiece would be cooler, but, you know. It is, I, I think for 20 bucks, like, I think it's, this is a definitely a nice figure. Like a bunch. Yeah. yeah kind looks... of a Beast Wars guy, you know that. I don't think I'm going to be disappointed in it. I think I'm going to be happy with it when I get it as Buzzsaw. There's it's also one figure. more repaint coming. Is there? That's good. There yeah, go. Paralyzer, aka Beast Wars Bug Bite. Oh, that'll be fun. That's in the Buzzworthy pack for this year. Last year at the um, TF Con, some of my friends I was traveling with got some of the Walrooters from the. Paralyzer's the white and pink one. Yes, exactly. And I, I, I desire that after seeing it. I kind of hope they do the Skywarp E one, the, uh, the black and purple one, because that could be a really good enemy for Night Prowler to fight. <laughs> They're so pretty. Those colors are just really fun. I, I, just, I want the horror cons to come back after so long. Night Prowler is here. We can make that Waspinator. We can make that Black Arachnia. Leatherhide, I don't, I don't know. If they make a Nyx, they can make a leather hide out of that. I don't know. It's, but three out of four of them could exist now, and I think they should. Horror cons. Horror cons. I like that, too. If no one knows what I'm talking about. That's okay. They were canceled universe figures in 2004. Night Prowler is one of them. It's exciting. Maybe they'll be. I think they're a little again. obscure oh, wait, for night... most people, but. I guess Night Prowler is coming, but definitely. Yeah, we ordered them today, yeah. Yeah. Right. 
you know, a lot of characters are obscure and end up getting, you know, pretty nice toys. Like, even though it's a third party, I've got my pyro that I'm using as a stand. He's pretty obscure. I don't know what you're talking about. He was obscure. He's no longer obscure. He's obscure. He's at least on the D list now. Ooh, the D list. Look, the Horicons I just mentioned are on the Z list. They didn't That's even come true. Out. <laughs> they don't even exist. I feel I'm like afraid that Generation selects like the the perfect thing for them to to do is all of those figures that just never came out. Randall Halloween mentioned special two pack, Black Rock Universe of the Wasp Banner. Randall mentioned wanting Nyx and Scald, and uh, I'm afraid that those might end up being Z list too. Because I, name was scold. I think it's I think it's scold. Is it scald? No, I think it's it's one of those. I actually haven't looked Some in so long. And now there's interruption by it having the wrong name in there for a second, so I don't even know. But anyway, the two women Beast Wars characters that were introduced in the comics, it would be nice to have toys of them. However, since the comics are doomed at this point, I just don't I don't see them getting toys. I really wanted Nyx to get a toy because I do like little bats. They are a fun little thing. And doesn't she have a toy? It's the bat primal toy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and I Close just want to mention guess. this figure does have wrist swivel, so just good. I'm glad to hear that it kept the wrist swivel. So it is just a pure upgrade articulation wise yep. to this guy. That one has wrist swivel. <laughs> yeah. It, but it didn't have the ankle. It, doesn't, oh, yeah, right. it didn't have ankle. And it didn't have on waist. waist. Yeah. So Christian, as the Beast Wars guy on the show, which I mean, is something. Um, All right. Which face do you like more which head for the waspinators of the thrilling 30 and the new one thrilling 30 I, I think i do too but i like the paint on the new one better I like, yeah i like the, I like I like the, the sculpt one. on the old one the paint on the new one yeah i could see that the new one looks pretty good i do like the purple personally I don't know. I just like it. I think it's like the me. purple too. I just think like, you know, being being the fan I am, these are two entirely different people. They are. So I like to have both of them separately actually. Sounding like Christian. Yeah, I what's, prefer what's the other one? Prefer there, the animated. Clear one. Animated. Oh the animated one, okay. That's ah. where the purple comes from on this figure. I'm a really angry sad Pre- man. Presumably. I mean, we don't know that, but where else would it have come from? I think so. I think that's it. And I think you're right. Like, that's just the trend we're going towards with Legacy. So it actually makes a lot of sense to have the influence yeah. of another Waspinator who's a different guy. It's a different guy. Um, but, you know, if, we're, if it's the only animated thing we get, I'll be pretty sad. But the fact that it is an animated thing at all is good news. But if that inspires them to repaint that cliff jumper toy for the fiftieth time as Wasp, I will. I will not complain mm-hmm. about that. I'd buy that but real quick. That is a pretty color scheme, and I love that toy. So yeah, I'd buy that real quick. Oh, so would I. I'd be very excited. He and Bug Bite could be bug friends. I hope you've brought that into being because I want that now. I hope so. I would love that. It would be so good. Man, I'd buy the crap out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cliff jumper mold was just going to like fall apart from all the reuses. I-, I wonder at this point if they've had to like redo that that mold just from the number of times they've used it already. I I want that thing to beat the seeker mold. I just want this to be a fight. I want it to beat the seeker mold. It'll be fun. I want like 40 more of them. 
Because, like, there's been no time in the last, how long has it been, like, a year since Clip Jumper came out? A little more? Two. Two? There's been, like, no time in that period that I don't have one of them on my desk. You never know which one. They take turns. But one of them lives on my desk almost always. Because they're fun. It's a fun little toy to play with. Well, I know you need your, you know, self-insert character. And I, I believe that she I will do. eventually see the light of day. I don't think so. I haven't given I her hope. We're going to get her, but she's going to be, like, an eraser in, like, the party supply section. That's going to be it. She will happen. We'll see. But in the meantime, I think the, the new Wasp Nair looks like a fun toy to play with as well. And the old yes, one is, is as well. This one scares me a little, so I, I think getting the yeah. new one is probably a good idea. I feel like this is a more fun toy. Like, you know, comparing both, <laughs> this is more fun to me. I think that you would like playing with this more, Anna, than that one. I think I will. He poses really nicely. I, I took the picture this evening for once, and I had him on my flight stand, which you saw at the beginning. And just the poses he can assume on the flight stand is, is just great. I mean, he's always... When he's depicted in the show, he's got this like a special attack stance that he does where he's flying in and shooting, and you're able to replicate that with this, and I, I loved it. It was nice. I really enjoyed being able to do that. The, um, the plastic on the old one doesn't exactly feel great, even though mine's been in package no. for all those years. So, uh, yeah, the new one seems to be the right choice, mostly. Aesthetically, though, I want to can I Can I get the old one on... Uh, BBTS. I feel like I almost could. I don't think so anymore. I think it's really? finally somewhat wow. valuable. Like forty dollars actually... sealed instead of twenty. Oh man, I, I don't think I would open it then if I were you. Eh, it's fine. I felt like it needed to happen. Huh? What do you know? Yep. I don't know. I felt like that that thing sat camped on uh, BBTS for forever, but it did. It did. It didn't sell super well. And then now it's somewhat valuable and I opened mine for the sake of the show and I'm just going to put it right back in the package. I'm sure everybody is like, oh, the old one's better because that's how we are. So, so A I'm lot of Blitzwing. people. I think this one people split on. Oh, Blitzwing, for God's sakes, no. That new one is definitely better than the old one. Way the old better. one is awkward as hell. Which one are you talking about? There's a fair amount of Blitzwing. Oh, yeah. I I thought the Headmaster one was stupid, so I didn't even touch it. Oh, I actually like the Headmaster. Well, it's fun. the Dakara one, I didn't like the head sure. on the Headmaster. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. The, the one, I the Thrilling 30 or... Changers. What was... Which one did the, uh, like, Generations one... Was that Thrilling 30 or was it something else? I can't remember. It was that same generation's line. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I I did not like that one. I just never felt like it tabbed together. I had some it's weird... It's weird as hell. Yeah, it doesn't tab together. It just did not work for me. Yep. The three faces was cool. Problems. Yeah. It looks... Didn't work. But... ...pretty neat on its own merits, just that it's kind of unique. But this new one's definitely better. The new one that you may see in pictures floating around since it's not actually announced yet. Oh, really? I thought they announced it. Nope. Not announced, right, Christian? Blitzwing has not been announced. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's Nothing gets announced anymore. They get leaked and reviewed by people. Yeah. Review the toys that are coming out of five years. Well, hey, at least the uh, Walmart ones got announced before they went up, so that's... You know, well, they weren't announced in it. Like, it was, they made a post on their social media, so. I was yeah. going to say, isn't it interesting how far back those dates are on the Walmart figures and the new bot bots, according to Pulse? It yeah. just, it feels the egregious. Walmart figures are so far out, they're in May. But if on Walmart they were. Oh, on Pulse, they're in November. But on oh, Pulse, Pulse they were. Those aren't, those aren't legit dates. I know. Pulse's dates really. are not real. It's like Cup I and uh, really Clip deep. Jumper. I don't really Some, somehow I went into the future on those when I got them from Pulse. They like said, right. was it October or something like that? And they like, I think that happened to me too, yeah. 
It's like yeah. December or something crazy like that. Yeah. I think Destro said January. Yeah. But I ordered him today. I don't know. Anyway. Flight stand. This is still the Pulse flight stand. I've got several of these now. Go get them. They're great. That's fun. All right. Well, um... You guys recommend Waspinator? Yeah. Yeah, Same. he's not super, but he's nice. Yeah, kind of in a lot of ways that you know, the beast figures have been. They're very few of them are like really good. Several of them are pretty good. Several of them are okay, and several of them are not great. This one is like pretty good. I feel like they're all solid. You know, there's none that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. But they're all they all ch- uh, check the box. So I think it's actually Air Razor fits the coolest thing ever for me. It's actually interesting that, you know, we're, we really want to say like we never get versions of these guys, but we're probably going to get a version of a lot of these guys soon for the new movie. Oh, yeah. Especially if they're as similar to their original designs as that primal toy that people have been talking about is. I guess we'll see. We will. It's actually kind of exciting now. Predacons being in that. There might not be any. That could happen with the movies. Who knows? So. The best. Anyway. All right. Well, thank you guys uh, for watching us tonight. Uh, thanks to uh, Randall and Phil in the chat. Um, and then there is going to be a cut the tape out tomorrow. So check that out. Um, yeah. Tell me you should open Waspinator so he's as cool as me. Next week, I think we're actually going to do Bulkhead, right? That's the plan. I, I actually had to run by Anna's house and grab the one that she picked up for me. So there you go. Yeah, it's in my closet. Take you all to place. There you go. They're both green. So That's true. All right. All right. Well, thanks, guys. And we will see you next week. Thanks, everyone.